Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. I am a Linode Developer Advocate, and in this video what we're going to be doing is talking about some security apps that you can use to surround your VLANs or VPCs here on Linode. Now before we talk about the applications, we need to talk about what a VLAN is. This is a virtual LAN. What this is going to do is allow two separate Linodes in the same data center to be able to talk to each other without actually accessing the internet. And the beautiful thing is this is a completely free service available on Linode. Using VLAN on Linode is a great way to increase your overall security and privacy. Now there are many great use cases for actually using VLANs, but some of the best ones are, for example, let's say you're hosting a, uh, a giant website with various components and databases, and you do want to have them separated on different servers, or in this case, that separate Linode instances. You go ahead and connect your main website front end instance with the database instance with a VLAN, so all communication stays between the two. Or an example that's a little more fun is, let's say you have a giant Minecraft server, and you want to separate different worlds on different Linode instances, you can again use a VLAN to connect these different instances to go ahead and create a super strong and secure multi-world Minecraft server. Again, these are two rather simple examples. The use cases for this are endless. Actually setting up a VLAN or adding one to an existing Linode is very simple. As when you create Linodes, there's actually an option within the initial configuration to go ahead and attach a VLAN, or you could go ahead and open up an existing Linode, go to the Configurations tab, click on Edit, and then in the Configurations, you just go down to Network Interfaces, and you'll have the option to either attach to an existing or create a new VLAN there. Now, using VLANs alone is a great step, again, to increase security and privacy, but there are applications that you can use to further increase this overall. And the very first one we're gonna go ahead and talk about is a VPN, and that is WireGuard. WireGuard is one of the very most popular VPNs out there, and it has a very similar protocol to something like OpenVPN. In practical terms, it's lean, it's fast, it's secure. Overall, it uses very minimal CPU resources, meaning overall connectivity is gonna be very quick. And of course, within the Linode marketplace, there's an option to go ahead and easily deploy your very own instance of WireGuard, you go ahead and connect that to the same network of your other instances using VLAN and traffic your connection through there. Again, just adding another layer of protection. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can use something like Warp Speed. Warp Speed is a VPN server that uses the WireGuard protocol and adds some wraparound functionality for overall user experience. Warp Speed supports multiple SSO providers, connection history, and real-time bandwidth monitoring. All tools to help you kind of monitor what is actually going on on your networks. And it is important to note that Warp Speed and WireGuard are two separate entities. Now, moving on from VPN, we're gonna talk about some threat protection using the application Wazoo. Wazoo is a unified security platform that provides unified SCIM and XDR features. It can be used to protect workloads across multiple environments by monitoring infrastructure and detecting threats, vulnerabilities, or intrusions. So SIEM and XDR, what does that mean? SIEM stands for Security Information Event Management. This collects log data from every part of your environment and provides visibility to spot malicious activity. XDR stands for Extended Detection and Response that focuses on threat response and proactive mitigation. Overall, this is a wonderful free and open source utility to have in your network and monitoring various Linodes, monitoring intrusion attempts, unauthorized user actions, and provide overall security analytics. Wazoo collects, aggregates, indexes, and analyzes security data to increase your threat detection without the cost of a premium security program. Some of the features include out-of-the-box incident response, automated vulnerability assessment, and just overall data analysis to help you get more out of your log information. Now, Wazoo can be combined with network intrusion detection tools such as Suricata to monitor transit points on your network or traffic from individual servers. Wazoo will pick up NIDS events across your environment and pipe them into a unified dashboard. I just love things like this that take complicated logs and information, puts it into a easy to read dashboard. And last but not least, we're gonna to need to touch on Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a full distribution that is built for hackers. In reality, it's just a popular security platform 
for penetration testing and research. Kali Linux is loaded with a huge amount of tools to help you perform these tasks. Uh, one of them is Nmap, which is an overall network mapping tool. Then we have Wireshark, which is the leading network traffic analyzer for troubleshooting issues real time. And then we have something like Metasploit, which is a penetration testing framework that uses a massive database of known exploits to simulate real world attacks on your network, which helps you find those vulnerabilities and everything that we're going to be monitoring with the other tools we mentioned in this video. Now from here, I actually would recommend you check out the full dedicated video on Kali Linux that I have up here on the Linux node channel we go over setting up the operating system logging in with a actual vnc graphical connection and testing out and playing with some of the tools that we have available to us so with that that video should be available on screen now please subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss the awesome cloud computing content that comes out on this channel and with all that i do hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye